live in upstate New York. What is the best way to protect our sun shelf during the winter? Most experts have said to leave five to 10 inches of water on the sun shelf so it's not exposed to ice forming, melting, and reforming again. Well, if you're in upstate New York, your weather is very much like our weather in Michigan, and you're going to get more than five inches of ice on your pool, freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw. So I don't know that you can, just by add, having a little bit of water over it, I don't think you can protect it. I think there's, uh, there's some bigger questions here in terms of, for me, is how deep is the sun shelf? How much water is normally on the sun shelf? What is the sun shelf made out of? Is this a gunite pool? Is this a vinyl pool? Is it, you know, I, I, there's a lot of things there that I don't know the proper way of answering. If this was a concrete pool and you're worried about the surface being damaged, I could make an argument as long as it was built properly and footed properly so that there was a massive amount of concrete underneath it, I, I could say leaving the pool level a little bit low. The flip side to that is if they built it and they didn't put a big footing underneath it, you run the risk of damage there. So without knowing the rest of the details, I don't know what to tell you on that one. More details would certainly help, but keeping the pool full of water is kind of off the cuff is probably the best answer. You just have to prep everything a little bit different, your skimmers and how you do all of that and how you winterize it, and then just keep the pool full.